Hi, my name's Mike Izzett. I'm director of Silverhook. Uh, today I'm going to show you a usage of Big Boy Carbon Fibre Flexi Filler. At the Yacht Club last week, one of the chaps out there, he um, he snapped his, uh, this is, this is a, what's called a tiller extension, it's used for steering the boat. Um, this is some carbon fibre I purchased. It's such a thin lightweight section that I realised that um, when it's actually attached to the fitting, the carbon has split. So what I'm going to do is uh, sleeve that in here. That's probably a bit too long, I'll probably trim that. I'm going to do so I'm going to use the Big Boy Flexible Filler to fit in the gap there so this binds in once it's set it it will bind in nice and tight. Take the lid off. We've got the we call it hardener but I suppose it's a catalyst inside there. That should be enough. Then normally you just put a a line across like this. But when you're mixing this up, when you've, when you've mixed it up, you've got to make sure you work quickly because it does go off pretty fast. Just give us an idea of how far to do it. Just stodge it all in because it's going to be, it's all going to pop out the other end. It's going to work. Feel it smoothing beautifully there. That's fine. That's perfect. I'm doing this work. Hang around. Just to clean this up now because it's going to go off very quickly. There we are. It's lovely. Right, we've got the cup of tea. Mmm, delicious. And let's see if uh, this is the Fitting. Fitting ensures that the tiller extension can then fit onto the tiller. The tiller has got a fair amount of bend in it and uh, being carbon fibre, super lightweight, big boy carbon fibre flexi filler will flex with the tiller so it shouldn't all drop out. Still, I can feel it's still a little bit green there but that's okay. That's, uh, that's not going to go anywhere. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. For the experts out there, um, as I said, I bought this uh, section with a couple more because the main usage of this is to put it in the boom of the boat as a spare. So if the main one does break, but funnily enough, um, I also use it for the light wind and it's, um, I've been using it for it's probably a couple of years now and it hasn't snapped. So um, some people out there, especially people that sell the musto skiffs and such like where their section is, it's like a tree trunk. It is so heavy. Um, I've got one of those as well and I find that a little bit uncomfortable. I find it too heavy. Um, Perhaps it's just because I'm lighter on the helm, who knows, not as aggressive. Um, but I find that this section actually does a treat. If you are going to fall off your trapeze line or something snaps, the stronger one does bounce back up and is recoverable, but the, the section we tend to use in the RS600 is a much thinner section in the main to that used on the Musto skiff. So the inevitable consequences, you think you can let go, you don't. When the trapeze line snaps or you fall off, you do keep hold of the tiller anyway for that fraction too long. And I haven't known it where it hasn't snapped. So if it's suitable for the normal racing, why not have a super lightweight tiller extension? Um, quite often in the racing, every little 
bit counts and if your body is that much lighter then of course you've got that much more of an advantage.